We had some tweets from Colombia at lunchtime today, Joe. So I hope the Colombians are watching this one. Nelson Crispin is going to be the man who is their big hope here. He goes in lane number four. Watch out for Torben Schmidtke of Germany and Yevgeny Bordaiko from Ukraine. They have had some good tussles in the last few years. Yevgeny Bordaiko dominated the event, but Schmidtke has come closer to him last year. And now Crispin is in the mix as well. Yeah, it certainly is a class that has been opened up a lot. Keep your tweets coming. Hashtag Glasgow 2015 at IPC Swimming. From, from Colombia or anywhere. From Colombia, anywhere. Brazil, Norway, Ukraine. We'll take them all. We do expect to see if Nelson Crispin is able to get a medal here. We do expect that tweet from Colombia. Valinsky for the Israeli team, round number one. Well, he's had a great tradition of Paralympic swimming, the Israeli team. Javier Toledo from Brazil in lane two. Very strong Brazilian team here at these championships. There's Torben Schmidtke. Already seen Germany at the front of the field already tonight. Can we have another one? And there's Nelson Crispin. Great swim he had in the heats. He's fastest into this final. And here's the man that was maybe hanging back just a little. Maybe any Bordaiko would be very successful at the major championships in recent years. Andreas Bjornstadt. Or can he get in the medals for Norway? Martin Lieben. A newcomer here, the Belgian. And Antonio. Thomas Bertrand completes the lineup for Spain in lane number eight. But there's Torben Schmidtke. Really has Yevgeny Bordaiko in his sights. Again, just sat in the chest there, trying to get himself worked up. Nelson Crispin, a little bit of a smile to his teammates who are right behind him. He looks confident. And there's Yevgeny Bordaiko, pretty much in the zone. Ukrainian, the Paralympic champion. He is going to be tough to beat the man with the blue cap from Ukraine. But there's Nelson Crispin. Went out really fast this morning. He's going to have to do that again. He's going to try and get ahead of Torben Schmidtke and Yevgeny Bordaiko. Can anyone else challenge for the medals? Take your we'll to find out. Well, Bjornstad using his coach there. Gets a slow start. It's Bohodaiko who's away best. I've got to say, Paul, looking at Nelson Crispin, he's not a tall man, but he has, you can just see looking at him, he's got orders of power and he has got a very, very nice breaststroke technique indeed. A really nicely timed switch between the breaststroke legs and the arms. And he really is giving Bohodaiko a run for his money here. They're going to come into the turn. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the Colombian who's a better round of rotation. He is and moves, but he's nowhere near as good underwater as Bohodaiko, who takes half a body length out of him. And this is where we start to see those classification pluses and minuses start to even out as the race wears on, as he moves back out on even terms with Bohodaiko. Bohodaiko seeming to just, just tie up a little bit as Schmidtke also moves back on the outside, Paul. Well, we saw Bohodaiko just tie up slightly in his event yesterday. The same thing is happening to him. He's hanging on the blue cap of Ukraine. Crispin in the white cap of Colombia. Torben Schmidtke coming right back into contention. But I think it's going to be Bohodaiko who's going to take the gold again. And the Paralympic champion is the world champion again in 121.92. Another personal best for Nelson Crispin. He touches in silver, 122.83. And Torben Schmidtke, he finished fast, but not quite fast enough to catch the top two. Third place for the German. Well, Nelson Crispin, when Bohodaiko first came onto the scene, he had exactly the same problems with his race that we've just seen with Nelson Crispin. If Nelson Crispin can go away and work on that. There's Schmidtke 
He doesn't look particularly happy with what's just happened. Here's the start again by Hodaiko, out the blocks like a whippet. And superb underwater. Everyone else is already up and stroking before Bohodaiko even breaks the surface. Here's the finish. Bohodaiko gets it absolutely spot on at full extension, just as does the Colombian. Bohodaiko got far more reach than him. In a much tighter race, he probably would have got the better of him. But I think, Paul, that Nelson Crispin could go away and there's a fair bit for him to work on there so that he stays relaxed through that race. Bohodaiko takes the gold in the men's 100 metres breaststroke, SB6, Crispin the silver, Schmitka the bronze.